Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. You can now publish Android Auto apps to open testing tracks in the Google Play Store, an important milestone that gets us closer to making these apps available to all users in production. With open testing, there's no limit to the number of users who can download your app and you don't need to manage lists of email addresses. You can get started with the Android for Cars app library and an open testing track in the Play Console. Check out the post to find out more. We released Work Manager 2.50 which includes improved support for apps that use multiple processes, support for the Work Manager Inspector in the Arctic Fox release of Android Studio, a new testing API, and lots of bug fixes. Unifying job scheduling to a single process improves performance in multi-process apps, and 2.50 introduces remote Work Manager to manage this work. Read the post for more on all the updates, as well as how to take advantage of the latest Work Manager features. Bazel 4.0 is a major release and Bazel's first long-term support release. It contains new features such as support for building with the Java 15 toolchain and the ability to skip targets incompatible with the platform. For a list of all the new features and incompatible changes plus links to documentation, check out the post. We're launching Experimental Extensions, a new type of Firebase extensions that are fully functional but haven't yet gone through the same amount of testing and polish as official published extensions. We're looking for your feedback on experimental extensions we've written, such as shortening links using Firebase Dynamic Links or performing sentiment analysis on text in Firestore documents. The post explains both how to install an experimental extension as well as how to build and share your own extensions. EventArc is now generally available, allowing you to trigger Cloud Run for more than 60 Google Cloud sources while taking care of the details of event ingestion, delivery, security, observability, and error handling. Check out the post for some of the improvements to EventArc since public preview, as well as a quick start guide in CodeLab to help you get started. We announced Cloud SQL Insights, a simple, open serverless tool that helps you quickly understand and resolve database performance issues on Cloud SQL for Postgres SQL. Insights provides a full stack view of your environments from the application through to the database. You can use tags to associate queries with specific business functions and then quickly evaluate the database load contributed by specific microservices or user flows. Check out the post for all the details. We announced VM Manager, a suite of infrastructure management tools to simplify and automate the maintenance of large fleets of Compute Engine VM. It features a single dashboard to increase compliance visibility and real-time tracking of inventory data, and includes services like patch management, configuration management, and inventory management. Head over to the post to find out more. The VS Code Go extension now enables the Go Please language server by default to deliver more robust IDE features and better support for Go modules. If you use VS Code, Go Please will be enabled automatically when you get the next VS Code Go update. The post has a screencast to help you get started, as well as animations to show off some hard to find features. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google.